Coder Tasks allows you to run coding agents such as Claude Code on your own infrastructure. As you can see, we have an agent running here that's working on adding a color picker to the home page. And, you know, it mostly works. When we're navigating around, all of the colors change except for this author and this like button. So the agent's currently working on figuring that out. Because agents aren't entirely reliable, we built an editor for you to view the agent's changes and also give developers the ability to open up the work inside of their own editor to continue on. Agents are great at sometimes taking things to maybe 50 or 60%, but then it makes a lot more sense to take over. Agents also take a while to run, so we built tasks to make multitasking really easy. As you can see, I have three agents currently working and another one that's waiting for feedback. It's idle. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. I can open this up in code server, view the diffs, and I can see that it was all added into one page. Let's ask it to put it in several markdown pages. In the back end, this is Claude code, but any coding agent can work, including agents that use self-hosted LLMs. So that's Coder Tasks. You can try this example today or hook up a template with your own project by going into the Coder documentation. Now, if you want to stick around, I can show you how this works under the hood. Tasks relies on two foundational Coder concepts. The first is workspaces. Workspaces are the actual development environment. It includes editors for developers to connect in and lifecycle functionality where the agent is no longer working to ensure that the workspace is shut down and cloud cost is saved. Templates are more for the admin. They're written in Terraform. And as you can see, this template defines the agent that's being used, such as the Claude code module, the way the agent authenticates, such as through an API key, as well as a system prompt for the agent and some general instructions for working on the project. This template also includes a script that runs to initialize the repo in the project, as well as configure MCP servers, such as Playwright and Desktop Commander, which the agent can use to test its work. Finally, if we scroll all the way down, we can see that the template actually defines the underlying infrastructure for the workspace as well. In this case, it's a Docker container, but this could be a Kubernetes pod, a VM, or really any infrastructure defined in Terraform. This allows you to isolate the agent and control which network it runs on, as well as what type of tooling and infrastructure it has. In this case, it's using a container image.